So I just picked up the kids from school. I'm on my way home. Dean just barely called me and said, puppies are here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Lexi is in labor. She's gonna have some what puppies. Does labor mean? We'll get washed okay. today or tomorrow. Okay. So this one. Not mm -hmm. you? Um, no, I mean, he's too cold. What? You need the heater. The baby's cold. Move that for my water for a sec. Okay. Where'd that broom go? Where'd that broom go? <coughs> broom? Oh, see it anywhere? Um, I don't see it. Remember, we gotta keep any fire hazards from this heater. Yeah. Excuse me? I was doing, I was picking up the kids from school. You want that one? There you go. So I give this to her in between each puppy. It's supposed to help um, give her energy for the next puppy and help make sure the contractions keep going, make sure the puppies don't get stuck. That white thing you just put down? Yeah. Can you check it for fur in the corner like this? Take between uh, 35 minutes to an hour to be born. 
uh, most of the time it's an hour. That one was only 35 minutes apart. So we might have some time in between this next one. Do you want to pick what color you want to do next? Do you see like a bag of little color? Like a little sandwich bag? Yeah, that. So, the girl I want to pick. We are in between puppies right now. I'm just gonna check and see how she's doing, how the puppies are doing. They have not quite figured out how to latch, but that's okay. That's okay, hi mama. Good girl, Lexi. I'm gonna try to help the puppies latch that will also help her contractions to keep coming. Okay, girl. Here's dad. Hello Gizmo. Hi buddy. Hi buddy. Hi. Oh it's okay Gizmo. It's okay Gizmo. Hi. It's okay. might be having some more contractions here. When I notice she starts contracting, then I kind of just get the other ones out of the way so she doesn't smash them. So far, none of them have latched. Have another one? Oh, we might have another one. Let's try it. Yay! Baby number one has latched. Having the baby's nurse is actually really good. It helps the contractions come on. Number two has not latched yet. Baby number two has latched. Good puppies. You're your daddy again. Do you want a drink? Lexi, do you want a drink? It's like an hour between each puppy, so a lot of just hanging out. Last time she had seven puppies. Um, I don't know how much she's gonna have this time, but we'll probably be here for the rest of the night. <laughs> oh boy! So how'd you how'd you find the first puppy? You know how we put a, a baby monitor yeah. near her, just so we could hear. And I heard her whining, like kind of like she wanted to get outside. But then I I noticed it, it just seemed a little more like urgent than normal. Looked at the monitor. And then I saw her sitting there, and then all of a sudden she just ran out the doggy door. Something, something seems odd, so I just stepped out here to take a look. And I came out, and there's a puppy <laughs> sitting there, and it's all widened, and I'm like, I'm like, Lexi, and then she she picks it up in her mouth, and starts running back and forth, should I give this to you? I'm like, whoa, you know, it looks like you're in labor, so I called you, and then at the same time, I got her back in here comfortably to keep the, the pup, you know, Clean and so the camera did help? Yeah, it helped to have the baby water listening in on her. I couldn't really see, like I didn't see the puppy or anything. I just, I could tell by her, 
Yeah, I could tell by her whining, it just was a little bit different than normal anal. Because earlier today she was like doing like a little whine and I kept checking on her, but there was no puppies. I, I checked on her right before I left for carpool. I was only gone for like, what, 40 minutes? She's contracting, looks like she might be having one soon. It's been over an hour. Uh huh. You see his daddy. You see Gizmo being there by her side. Is he Gizmo? Hi, buddy. So far, we have two little boys, huh? It has been an hour and ten minutes. She is contracting, but it really shouldn't be taking this long. Okay, so it has been an hour and a half since Lexi has had a puppy, so I'm gonna take her for a walk. I'm gonna have her on her leash. I'm gonna bring a towel and the blue bulb syringe in case she ends up having a puppy outside. <laughs> we will just walk around the yard to help get that baby to come out. She is wanting to go back inside. So let's go inside, maybe she's ready. All right, baby. You ready to come back in and have another one? This might be it. This might be it. No, I am sneezing all over the place. It's been two hours since she has lost her, had her last puppy. We have got to go walking. Third puppy after two hours. 
Bears. I've been having really bad allergies this season. Ugh. Also, we're losing light out here. I gotta go get some light set up. Now that she has, she just had a baby, so I have a little bit of time before she's gonna have another one. I'm gonna run in the house, grab some, uh, get set up for some light out here. Before I go, I'm gonna hurry and give her her, her calcium. Coming up on the hour mark. Bleeding too bad. I need to get. I need to get it clamped off. Okay, hold it open. Hurry, quick. I'm trying. Can you hold Emma it? is holding. It's losing too much blood. <laughs> it's bleeding too much, Emma. You gotta hold very. You gotta hold him so I can. Hold so I can fix it. We're gonna clamp this off. It's gonna get all better. Okay. It's gonna be okay. Sometimes this. Sometimes this happens, and it's okay. All right. All right. And I gotta cut it. Can you hold him while I cut it? Okay? Alright, I know. Stop the bleeding. I think we did. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Hi. Hey, little man. Hey, little man. Hey, little man. Hey, little man. Hey, so we have four. Four boys. What color should we be? You tell me. What one do you want? Yellow? Lexi was yellow. Born at 
9.15 p.m. She is 14.1 ounces. So far, she is the smallest. Baby number six surprised me. She came quick. It's a boy. Puppy number six is a boy. He was born at 9.40 p.m. Good girl, that's a good girl. Tiny little pads are annoying. So we've got more of the big ones. I think we have baby number seven coming right now. Baby number seven, our second girl, born at 11 p.m. Seven is a girl. Baby number eight snuck up on us. We did not, we was not ready for him. It is a boy. We've got six boys and two girls. As you can see, these pads did not work out. I should have gotten the larger ones. I started off with the larger ones, but I ran out of them, so I had to use these little ones. Oh, mom is so tired. Right now it is midnight. I am not sure if I should keep waiting to see if she has any more, or if I should just clean up and call it a night. She has eight. That's more than she had last time. Last time she had seven. She did five boys and two girls. This time she is at eight so far. She has done six boys and two girls. I don't want to leave her. I'm just going to watch her and see if I notice if the contractions are stopped or if she's still contracting. If she's still contracting, then it's likely there's another puppy. But if the contractions have stopped and it's been like an hour and a half, then I will probably start cleaning up. I'll probably also let her walk out into the yard, let her stretch her legs, and let her use the bathroom before the night. And I'll set up the camera so we can see, so we can watch the puppies and know if, if any of them are having problems. It has been almost an hour. I'm going to go take her out for a walk and let her use the bathroom. babies, six boys, two girls, she is exhausted, ready to go to sleep, she had some water, she went to the bathroom, and now she is just ready to rest. Okay, so I will have a camera on them so that we can keep an eye on them. I did clean up their area and then we her with her some bedding. All of them are looking great, all of them are latching. Ready to go to bed. Mm -hmm. 